I'm on my way again, uh, this time to Eastern Europe. What? Yeah, we're here somewhere in, an, in a basement in, in Warsaw, right? Most of the time I go to buy my hockey fans in uh, Germany, in uh, UK or France. But this time I'm actually going to Warsaw and I'm really curious to see whether there are some biohackers over there and what they're up to. So behind me is the skyline of Warsaw. This is the capital of Poland. And I'm going to see whether there are biohackers in this city. Let's have a closer look. To be honest, it was quite hard to find uh, biohackers in Warsaw. So instead, I've made an appointment here at the Copernicus Science Center. As a child, I really love to go to science centers. And this is, I think, a place where a lot of people start tinkering with technology and science. And uh, over here, they have a big bio lab, so we're going to take a look inside. So, what is this? Because you can. Uh... This you can here you can make your photo, and later they create a picture from the bubble. Ah! And you can make this photo there. I don't know. Maybe it's switch off. So okay. Do that. Okay. So this is the bio lab. Yeah, this bio lab is the green laboratory. And what do you do here in this lab? Oh, a lot of things. <laughs> now I. I Cultivating the Hydra vulgaris. Oh, okay. What is this uh, like? Oh, wow. For Alex exhibit, and he's here. When you see it, you can see it here. It's a lot of Hydra because we want to have a lot of Hydra and make the exhibits with Hydra. And it's a little bit complicated. Uh, somewhere down here, but uh, we're going to go in and have a look. What are these plants? Uh, it's Paulownia plants. Yeah. And the, they're used for, for what? For, for uh, it's for uh, biomass and for uh, wood. Ah. It's very uh, soft. Okay. And how, how old are these, um, these little plants now? It's uh, one day after uh, potting. Okay. It's so hi. Um, Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're here somewhere in an, in a basement in in Warsaw, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, I see a lot of plants are growing. Could you maybe uh, explain a little bit, like who you are and uh, and what what is around us? Uh, my name is uh, Mariusz. I'm the owner of uh, this stuff. Uh, it's called uh, Laboratorium 300, 313. I breed uh, aquatic uh, plants, uh, carnivores, and uh, woody plants. Uh, here is my uh, growing room. And what is the name of this? Uh, it's Rekaulum. You were the only one, or you found only one example on the web that somebody was able to grow it? Yeah, so probably I am the second person. Uh, I use uh, here um, different types of uh, lead lamps, fluorescent lamps. Mm, try different uh, mediums for uh, different uh, species and try to um, find the best solution for uh, propagation of the plants. And you said that you are also a bit of a, of a do-it-yourself inventor, right? Because this started as a hobby. Uh, can you explain uh, what is the do-it-yourself aspect of this? <laughs> mm, I started um, the idea, the idea um, on the university, um, Professor uh, Buja, uh, who was uh, teaching us uh, about uh, tissue culture, um, made me so interested in the uh, topic that um, I asked him to uh, let me do some experiments in uh, his lab. And uh, after that, when I uh, get some experience, Mm, I started to uh, collecting my own stuff and making plants uh, for selling. Uh, now I have uh, more than 120 square meters of the lab, uh, some uh, workers uh, and selling plants over Europe. And what do you hope to achieve with this? What is the, 
Now, what will be the impact of, uh, of, of being able to grow plants like this? I don't like to uh, work under somebody. I like to be uh, a chief uh, chef of uh, myself. So you want That's to be independent? I, yeah. <laughs> So independency through biology, that's basically what it is. Exactly. Uh -huh. hey, and um, your friend just said that you might be the first biohacker of Poland. Yeah. Do you think that's true? That's true. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't know anybody else that's doing this? No, no. I'm the first. <laughs> hey, and do you have maybe any questions for me? Or for, uh, for us from Amsterdam? Oh, maybe not in front of the camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm interested in uh, CNC robots. Okay, well, let's talk yes. about that. My time in Warsaw is almost over. I had a great night with Stanislav in the Copernicus Center. And he also introduced me to some great biohackers here in Warsaw. It just shows that whenever you break your own bubble, you get into the most crazy situations and learn a lot of cool new things. What's also interesting is that we have a lot of you know, things in common when it comes to the policies of the European Union, for example. Um, the Science Center was full of great equipment, uh, but Stanislav also said that it is not really empowering people to do biology themselves, because all this great equipment is actually quite intimidating and doesn't really lower the barrier for people to do bio. I really got the feeling again that there are real biohackers in this country and they really do things themselves. Our next stop is going to be Bucharest. Uh, if you want to tag along this journey, simply uh, like this video or subscribe to the channel.